Thank you, everybody. Hello, welcome to Double Talk. I'm Mark Steffen. I can't tell who I am. Can you tell who I am? Hard to tell. I'm going to take this off. This is, wow, that's really warm. So this is from Jeremy at Landmark. He yeah. makes these. In yeah. case you're, you know, you saw these in the paper, but they're not his. It looks like somebody's G-string you're wearing cool. there. Yeah, it's a little tight on me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Oh, I'm Michael Mandel, and we're, uh, we're going to do rum. Yes, we are. Before we get started, I just want to ask you, what's that brand of disinfectant you're wearing? It's fetching. Oud de Beaver. <laughs> Oud de Beaver. That was a fake laugh there. See, he had a fake laugh. <laughs> <It was> just, <laughs> uh, so, yes, we're, we're going to do rum. We've got about eight bottles of rum here. I think we started doing, you know, now that every late night, every show, in fact, is done like this. It's ridiculous. So, yes, I figured rum, we don't really do rum a lot. Not very often. No, we do a lot of gin, and uh, uh, I find that interesting. Gin, vodka, scotches. Rum is interesting. My wife wanted to do, uh, what I say she wanted to do, a mojito. So she went and bought, the, she said this was the only decent rum in Toucan, and it's called The Real McCoy. Tell you a story about that after this. But we're going to start with Ron Rico or Bacardi, not Ron Rico. <laughs> not Ron Rico. <laughs> said, <laughs> We've been talking about Ron Rico. Um, so Bacardi is pretty standard, and when you start doing a tasting, the best thing to do is start with a standard and see we'll where it goes. Move our way up. So I'm going to measure this. That's a good There you go. Way. And we're just going to have a little taste. Neat, um, as they say. Neat. We are, we have backup here. We have limes, you know, uh, rum is pretty standard with lime and sugar. That's, that's pretty much what it is. You know, if it weren't for rum, where would Ernest Hemingway be? Same place he is now, dead. But um, he wouldn't have had his reputation. You know? He used to drive, he used to go down to Cuba to get, to drink rum. Well, they say he invented the daiquiri down in Juarez. He brought the daiquiri back, yes, back to Juarez from, the, from Cuba. And it's pretty darn good. Of course, now when you go to the club that he brought it to, which was uh, Kentucky Club, Kentucky Club, they say that Kentucky Club is where Ernest Hemingway brought the margarita. Oh, margarita now. Yeah, now they say it's a margarita because all the students that uh, come to drink there, they've never heard of a daiquiri. See? Glass. Mmm. <clears throat> smells good, doesn't it? <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah. A little congested. He's got the Corona. corona. He's got the Corona. Now that's not bad, Mike. Okay. I don't know why you thought I hated Bacardi. By itself. Because you're like all those when cheap When it smells like Cuervo, I hate. <laughs> They're made by the same company except with different names. Okay. Not bad. Yeah. I, you know, I don't think I've ever had it straight. Yeah. Never thought about that. I like tasting rum. Okay, here's a story about this uh, real McCoy rum. Barb brings it home, and I'm looking at this, and I'm saying, God, we just saw this. We had been in Santa Barbara, oh, earlier this last year, late uh -huh. last year. And on the uh, waterfront, there is a museum, a, a waterfront museum, and they had a whole display about the real McCoy because he was, it was a smuggler in, the, uh, in Prohibition, and he did his own rum, and hence, he, somebody decided to use that as a theme and make this uh, rum, which is, uh, we'll so it had see. Nothing, had nothing to do with the sitcom, The Real McCoys. No, nor the phrase, The Real McCoy. Uh -huh. Except something about the McCoy word makes it seem real, I don't know why. <laughs> well, then there's knows? the Hatfields and McCoys. Anyway, so Toucan has The Real McCoy. <laughs> Those of you who are out there drinking the fake McCoy, now you know where to get the real McCoy. The real McCoy. The real Prohibition brand rum. Now this is our Memorial Day show. It is. And you could drink rum for Memorial Day. There's nothing saying you can't. Absolutely. If you put uh, cola with it, you've got rum and, rum and coke. If you add some uh, lime to it, it becomes a Cuba Libra. That's the distinction. So I brought lime in case... Uh, Very good. Here. It's a real McCoy. Mm. It's got a little more taste. It does. Doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it's, it better it's, than... It's McCoy. got more depth of flavor. 
whatever that means. It definitely does, yeah. We'll do the others on the second half, because I know, you know, you've been missing out on a lot of news. You've probably been seeing all the stuff you've been reading on uh, Facebook and on the internet, but we're the place where you get your true news, right? Absolutely. We're the only ones where who, else? We're the only ones who look believable enough for you to trust. You know, I had, a, I had uh, uncles uh, from, from Missouri come to, when I was a kid, come to visit down here. And they didn't drink rum. My dad, that's why he always drank rum and coke at night. And uh, he never, they had never seen Bacardi before. They called it Bacardi <laughs> when they saw Bacardi. the label. Like I'll have some tobacco. Bacardi. Tobacco. And um, yeah, so there's, because of the Memorial Day, uh, Corona, the, uh, there's a lot not going on. A lot not going on this weekend, Yeah, we guys. used to have going on during Memorial Day weekend. It's a three-day weekend. Usually there's a wine festival out at the fairgrounds, but not this year. Um, a lot of people like to go up to the lake, you know? Every, everybody likes to go to the parks. Elephant Butte Lake is closed to people. And in fact, all, there's a lot of parks that are open, state parks. But there's no open. overnight camping yet in any of them for some reason. Probably because the bathrooms are not open. And nobody wants you doing your business near the bathroom. Uh -huh. Not near the bathroom. It should be in the bathroom. And uh, a lot of people like to go to Wet n Wild because that's their opening weekend between here and El Paso. And that's closed, except for the cafe. That's still open. Yeah, because you want to go out of your way to a Wet n Wild cafe. The cafe is there for takeout only. For some reason, they opened up Disney for the stores. Did you notice? Hmm. They mentioned, I don't see how they can do that, but they're just opening cool. it so people could go to the Disney stores and the no. Disney So there's center. no uh, admission fee, I guess. No, except you end up buying your you know, Mickey Mouse shirts and ears. Um, well, you know, Disney World has a Margaritaville restaurant, but I guess that's closed. I guess so. Uh, um, things also, will open soon enough once everybody gets sick. Well, after, I think June 1st, restaurants will be allowed to be open at uh, 50 percent capacity. 50 or 25? 25 percent 25. 25. capacity. Yeah. That's you know good. this past uh, week I think or the week before they said things will be open at 25 percent capacity and they started on Wednesday saying well but uh, religious places would only be 10 percent and then they corrected themselves on Friday because that doesn't make sense does it? Why can't, why can't a church be open but not a movie theater? Well think about the seating in a movie theater it's dark People are going to, you know, it's harder to police a movie theater. Well, people close their eyes when they're praying. But they keep, breath dark. But they keep breathing. This way you can see where the people are breathing near you. And, I mean, you could sit there and take off your mask. And they're talking about the fact that we are not catching COVID so much by touch as by breathing. So could you stop that? Good. Don't do it again. Mm. Uh, yeah. Also, um, a great uh, pastime on... On Memorial Day is the Indianapolis 500 motor car race. Oh, you were telling me about that. It's some sort of place where people don't know where they're going and they get there 500 times. <laughs> yes, they, they, uh, it's, just, it's a big race where they turn left for two and a half hours. I hear it's going around. Is it is it, going is around, is? definitely. Uh, so they're going to, they think they, they, well, they've rescheduled it for August 23rd on NBC. There's not great. <laughs> people have been putting up these fake sports things on TV where they, you make paper people uh, on your little table and you kick the ball and little little softballs and hardballs. You've got to be pretty hard up for sports to God, do that. I know. People are doing sports like throwing things into a can. The beer uh, pong. I don't, yeah. Just sit down and do a crossword puzzle. <laughs> That's what I do. But one thing that is open. Even though I'm not mad at words. As of today, Rude Elsa Downs racetrack and casino. That's one race. I wonder if horses could get COVID. I mean, dogs we heard can get it. Lions and tigers can get it. Oh yes, bears. In the Bronx Zoo. Except nobody breathes close to a bear. Um, so the, anyway. It should so be good, we're at Horses will, will be running. Uh, sadly, Sutherland Park will not be open anytime soon for some reason. More, bigger crowds there. There's more air. You know, if you're out in the open air and not crammed in with people, mm. you also have less risk. The risk is diminished. So from now on, we should do our show outside. Well, they're going to have, they're going to have a risk protocols uh, in, in works there at, at the Downs. I guess people will be spaced out in the bleachers. Yeah, but th that's because they're getting uh, medical marijuana gummy bears. <laughs> and, I, and I assume that the jockeys will have all been tested. 
I, they're tested for other things as well as COVID, so yes. they might as well they test them for that, for too. The jockeys. They yeah. have drug testing for the horses, too. That's true. You don't want them taking uh, medical marijuana. Mm. You know, <laughs> we don't. We make them run faster. What is or it? not at all. No, I might take a nap. No, I think they just take a nap, <laughs> and they'd sit around eating potato uh, chips and for horses, mm -hmm. which are very big. They have to be bigger because yeah, oh. they have those big mouths. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so... Um, but one thing that is also open now is the uh, City Recycling Center on uh, West Amador. Well, well, I was there when it opened. I was there uh, Wednesday. I bet it was busy. Uh, it was closed. It was around 3 o'clock. They closed at 3.45. They were closed at 3. Uh, I have a lot of bottles in the back of my car in case anybody wants bottles. You just throw them over the fence when they're closed. I, I could do that. You know, you could stay there and try to get into those little holes. Yeah. It's a game. They crash, they break anyway. It doesn't matter. Yeah, well, I was on the phone with them today, and they did you, said, you have to wear a mask and gloves. I did. I wore both. Didn't really matter when their doors are closed. <laughs> I wonder if you knock on the wire gate. There's no place to knock on that wire gate. Just honk. <laughs> I'm not that rude. Oh. Anyway, so, yeah, but recycling, it was a pleasure getting rid of, what was that, like, Three or four weeks of bottles, that was a big pile up. Right, just because... Uh, they didn't, they kept it closed for a long time. I don't see the difference in the situation, but I'm not going to complain. Well, I, I not only have bottles, but I have plastic containers and newspapers and cardboard, because I don't get recycling where I live. I'm not in the city. Oh, you're always bragging. So I have to take all of my recycling to the city bins. Well, I have to bring them outside. Have to uh, you were going to bring it. You were going to bring it. What two weeks ago, so that I could put it in the. Yes, I want to. Forgot using, about that. I yeah. did hear him. Oh, good idea. Yeah, TV studio has its own recycling bin, and we have nothing to pieces. recycle except our material. We keep recycling yeah. our material. They. Yes. Know. Well. Yes, we keep telling you about businesses that are closed. Yeah, well, we recycling centers open. Sometimes our shows, entire shows, are recycled. Like a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> we didn't do a show. Come on, everybody on Late Night is recycling their shows from ages ago. Uh, some of the new ones are great. I'm still getting, no, you know, they're getting more sophisticated. Like if you look just at, for a rule of thumb, Colbert, he was totally off in the beginning. He, he couldn't did. take His timing no, was way off. He couldn't take no timing. Now he's got his son there as a backdrop, but... Uh, He's, he kept, he's doing he, better. They're, they're more sophisticated in their electronics. He too. kept holding for laughter that wasn't there. So yeah. do we. Well, we never So get do it. we. Where's that laughter? At least we have a guy who can press a button and make people laugh. <laughs> See? No, I hear. Yeah. Here? Yeah. What's that a picture of? Now, you know, I saw... Oh, the recycling center. Speaking of cooking, I saw what, a new show, what? Cooking with Amy, Amy Schumer. Sure, I saw part of that. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Yeah. Well, her he's husband a, is a cook. He's a real cook, and she's just she's trying to be funny. Yeah, trying too hard, I think. Well, she's usually great, i got to admit. She's great. Yeah, with, with material that she already has practiced with. Her off-the-cuff stuff wasn't so great. No, but what is it? A half a, did you ever try doing a half-hour show and trying to ad-lib material? You should try it sometime. Mm, maybe after this show we'll do that. Yeah, our next show. Yeah. and uh, Cooking with Mark Steffen. So we're going to talk... Uh, no fact, beef, if, please. If anybody else out there would like to do a cooking show right here oh. at the Las Cruces Channel, you can do so. Just get in touch with us if you have a, an idea for some kind of uh, cuisine you want to uh, That's true. put on the air. You can come here and do it. There's a gap in uh, our scheduling because we do a drinking show, which is really taxing for and us. And we talk about food because food and drink is just one of our favorite topics. Oh, maybe when we get back, we'll talk about restaurants that are coming up and are. restaurants we've used. We are. We like to talk about uh, we like the arts, eat. but there's none of that going on right now. So let's, oh, there is online. After this we'll uh, commercial it. break, we'll talk more. Go have a drink. Speaking of that. us on channel 98 keep watching because we have so much in store for you we want to grow together 
your channel local and real. If we want to improve America's healthcare system, let's start by improving the health of Americans. Despite the best doctors, hospitals, and medical advancements, Americans are not as healthy as they should be. We spend too much on treatment and not enough on wellness and prevention. We need a system based on primary care. When patients have a medical home and a long-term relationship with a doctor, the result is a longer, healthier life and reduced medical costs for everyone. Let's make America a place where health is primary. Horizon Granite is here. We'll come to you to customize your kitchen and bathroom with beautiful countertops and cabinets. Find out more at horizongranite.com. Call us at 575-650-3180. Horizon Granite is here. It's here. Make yourself a beautiful home. Hi, I'm Ray Bamberg with Here on Earth. I would like to invite you for a free hearing evaluation to our office. We've been here in southern New Mexico for 34 years helping people hear better. We are back. This is Double Talk right here on the Las Cruces channel. Why am I wearing these? Oh, it's bright in here. That's Mark why. and Michael. Michael is here. In action. I'll do these because it's dark. And we're doing rum. And rum, you should be in the sun for doing. Hmm. Speaking of the sun, we were in St. Croix a couple of years ago just because friends of ours, yeah. you know, owned half the island. And no, that's where you got that bottle, huh? No, you didn't get it there. But now I know about Cruzan rum, which is not bad, except the, the brewery or whatever, distillery, distillery, distillery really stinks. I mean, rotten sugar is, is not good. So we'll do some of this Cruzan rum. This is aged a whole year, an entire year, as opposed to scotch, which is three to eight years. And also I had to get rid of this, so. Uh, okay, you can recycle that bottle now. I can. I'll just go back to St. Croix, tell them to fill it up again. Put a note in it and, and throw it in the ocean. And, and then I'll send you a note, I'll it. send you a note. So this is a fairly decent, been fairly decent. So, must be because we finished most of the bottle. So we're, we're trying all of these on the rocks with nothing else. Hmm. This is more direct. This is, a, this is a more defined flavor, don't you think? I mean, I'm not gonna say what the flavor is because pretty much it's rum. It's, it's a rummy flavor, yes. But each one of these three rums so far, Completely different. A different, yes. Uh, this one was good, but is that the one? No, whatever. Uh, Bacardi. We did the Bacardi first. Was good. Uh, Real that was good. Was good. And this is this ain't good bad. too. Mm. We're not drunks for nothing. I mean, we, we like stuff. Well, we don't really drink. We taste. We sample. We taste. That's it. I mean, this as, is like, as a public service to you, the viewer. Right. So you don't have to do the dirty work, and we do. <clears throat> Now, is it true, Michael, that uh, uh, you celebrated uh, Single de Mayo by uh, putting uh, disinfectant around the rim of your margarita glass? I put some mayonnaise around my <laughs> margarita salt. glass. Mayonnaise? Mayonnaise. And then you put the salt on. Oh. That's how we Anglos Ma do it. Mayo. Yeah. Mayo. Mayo. Single de Mayo. Yeah. And we watch Virginia Mayo movies. <laughs> and. Uh, we were heartened to see, because we talk, we love talking about restaurants, oh. that uh, King Zaz Pizzeria will be opening where Zephyros used to be on University Avenue. And those of you who didn't bother to read the story in the Sun News, which is where we get most of our information, thank you, Sun News, um, <laughs> the guy who opened King Zaz worked for Zephyros as manager for years, like from 14 for, for years a while, ago. Until they fired him. And uh, he started going with uh, one of the other managers. I'm not sure, they didn't talk about why he was fired. It could have been because he was hanging out with another manager and it made, who knows? I don't want to spread rumors. Anyhow, we're looking forward to that because Zafiro's and University always had some good pizzas. And a name like King Za, 
King really, Zong. it's got to be. Uh, I, I can hardly wait to go and have it, a slice. It's got to be uh, promising. So, but we'll now they that. have a different oven there than they have at the one downtown. The one downtown has a brick oven. This one does not. No, it doesn't. Necessarily. And they make different stuff. They don't make the pizza at 900 degrees on the, at the university. No, but they do make pizza that you can take out. You can take the out. one uptown, they never let you take they out because it would go flat. Remember how it would puff up? Uh, those were the days when you could go to a restaurant and <laughs> experience yeah. uh, good things. Yeah, so... Uh, I'm working here. He was ready to open. And then uh, this whole epidemic happened. Yeah, did you hear about this epidemic? It's in all the papers. Oh, nobody reads papers anymore. And so he's... It's on YouTube. He's so on I... hold. He's still trying to get all his permits in line to open the restaurant when he's going to be allowed to. And uh, so it's good that we have, you know, a new a new restaurant opening up in town. We well, believe in supporting our local eateries. A pizza real like that is based on delivery anyway, so. Well, yeah, and he's in a good location across yeah, from university, the university. Yeah, university, even though nobody, well, everybody's still living around there. There's a lot of people living around there. There are. And the. Uh, and he's right next door to a brew pub. That's true, pizza who is probably beer. doing takeout. Um, so there are a lot of good places that are surprisingly busy because they did their business based on a drive through thing. I am most shocked at Chachi's. Chachi's drive through has been totally busy. I mean, it's a good place, but you know, that's the setup. And stuff like uh, 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 Kane's Chicken, as well as Freddy's. Chipotle is even doing takeout. I'm pretty sure. They don't have a window though, do they? They, they have a the side, car. they might have a side thing. Well, you know, Habanero's on uh, Amador, they, you go inside to order. He's behind a plexiglass and you order, you pay, and then you go outside and he brings it out to you. I actually and, love, I love having yours. And that guy's food's really good. Bob's not thrilled about it. You know, I didn't mention this last week because we had gone for Mother's Day to pick up food at Red Lobster. Yeah, you mentioned that. Did I mention it? Yeah, did I did. mention that I waited for an hour and a half? <laughs> Silly, crazily. Well, yes. but I had a lot of fun there. I met the DoorDash guys, I met the Grubhub guys. Well, nobody goes out on Mother's Day to eat. It's a, you go out the day before. You don't. You, you go out the day before. Yeah. Well, the reason they don't go out to eat because it's too crowded, right? Yes. Nobody goes to that restaurant. It's too crowded. It's too crowded. That's the whole point. That's why you go the day before because they're fully stocked by then and nobody's there. But it's not Mother's Day. Oh. So what are you doing? Celebrating pregnant Mother's Day? I mean... You can take the food home and eat it the next day. Let me just tell you what this is. This is... Uh, I don't even remember. Is this, it's El Dorado. And this is an eight-year-old Demerara rum, which is made out of Demerara sugar. And it's supposed mm. to be, a hard, as you can see, if you have your glasses on. It's dark rum. It's darker, so it's aged eight it years. It means there's more sugar in it. It's, no, it means it was barrel aged. The barrel gives it its color. Okay, well, that's good rum. It's sort it's of getting kind of like Myers rum. It's isn't kind it? of sort of flat. No, Myers rum is a kickier thing. Myers rum is pretty good. Myers rum has more flavor than this, but this is. This doesn't that. have a lot of flavor. It's got. Uh, it's got the hint of rum in a way. Are you done with yours? Because I was going to throw some of this in. Into okay, go ahead. Okay, no for flavor. Okay, well let's. Yeah, you know what. We'll do all our rums. We'll just, here, you done? Okay. You finish yeah, that. Just finish that, here you go. There's one restaurant that I'm surprised isn't open because they have a drive-up window. Whom? And that's the shed on Valley Drive. Ooh. Because some, they basically do breakfast. Wex is open. Did we talk about Wex last week? Wex? Wex is open oh. in front of Toucan. How are you going to get bacon and eggs to go? Who wants, I got it. Who I wants got, I got, eggs? I got Wex Benedict and Bob got Huevos Rancheros. It was enough to eat for the entire week. Really? Really, it was, and it was good. I gotta admit, uh, you well, go there, you park in a numbered slot. Yes. I was the only one there. It wasn't really hard to figure out who I was. Did you go inside? No. You, they, they come uh, out? Yeah. They take oh, your they order? see, when you park there, they see what's going on. Yes. You call up and tell them when you, they tell you when it's gonna be ready. Okay, well you live three minutes away. I live, I could have walked there, except yeah. people can't walk these days. You're not allowed to. You're too much outside. Anyway, it was easy, it was good. Wex does hearty breakfast. In fact, I had the bacon eggs benedict that the first guy I ever asked about, he said, oh, their eggs benedict is great. They give you ham like this. They actually give you ham like that. But Nobody gives you ham like this. 
if you want a ham like that, all you have to do is watch this show. That's what Michael's for. But it's kosher ham. What's that here, the here, you still got some left. Look, I'm going to yes. do this to you just because you said that. But the last one we we're doing was a flor de cano, which means flower of the cane. And I think we got this from Beth Pollock once. And this well, is a very it. exact. She she went to Canoville. Oh. So she brought it back. She goes to you know Hispanic places all the time. She knows. She speaks the lingo. Yeah, she does. And she understands it. And she, okay. What? That's gonna do it, man. That's it. Because you have. This is not a to drink by itself. It's to flavor it. Ooh. Ooh, right. But the whoa. Or orange. It's orange. It's orange. So, Speaking ooh. of alcohol, I meant to give a shout out when I talked about my mask to Revita, which is a hand sanitizer you can get if you go online to TNT Hemp Farm. And doesn't everybody want to go to TNT Hemp Farm? Yes, I do. And this stuff is great. Mm. Oh, and I need to mention that there's a mask madness contest going oh. on, sponsored by the governor's office and the, and the health department. And um, people make their own Ooh. homemade masks, and decorate them up in creative ways. And uh, then you uh, send in the picture of your mask being worn and people judge it. And then there's a prize for the winner. And if you want to enter, we can put that, uh, place up that you can uh, go to for more information there it is enter. it's such a long CV New Mexico health organization mask madness yes and there's a lot of things you can do with your masks yeah and the deadline for that is May 24th and I believe Mark is correct when this uh, this coronavirus things over I can yeah. use it as a jock strap yes you could. yeah so I'll be okay. uh, you would want to wear it after that uh, I wouldn't want to breathe it after no. that. Also, the Messia Valley, uh, the Messia, not Messia, the MVD. MVD, Messia Valley Used Drug to be the Department. DMV, DMV. Where you go to get your driver's license, all that kind of thing, motor vehicle division. They're going to be opening June 1st uh, by appointment only, though. So if you need to get some things done there that you can't get done online, like a driver's license, uh, call them up and make an appointment. And, and what's uh, this, uh, Ken Osmond? Ken Osmond died. You know Ken Osmond? He played Eddie Haskell on Leave the Beaver. And uh, he was one of my favorite characters on that show. There he is there for the show. That's a lovely house coat, Mrs. Cleaver. <laughs> I, I, you couldn't see my empty eyes behind my sunglasses, but uh, yeah, sure. You must be older than I am. Leave it to Beaver, really. I watched him, yeah. I'm watching the reruns when I was yeah, in I think they were the junior high school. Were you old enough? And, uh, yo, know, I used to love that show. It was a wonderful show. Uh, mm. Fred Willard, you didn't mention Fred Willard. Fred Willard died, forgot Fred all Willard. about him. Yeah, put the picture of Fred Willard on, because everybody loved Fred Willard. Oh, and by the way, Marcy Dickerson's drive-in movie experience happens June 1st and 2nd yep. in the parking lot of the game two. And then after that, Alan Theaters will take over uh, in their parking lot uh, on uh, the Telstra 12. That. So my daughter has been going to drive-in movies in Los, Los, Angeles. Los Angeles for the last three or four weeks. Excellent. It's now, great. She now, loves we don't it. know what film she's going to be showing yet, but, but there'll be matter. an article in the it paper on matter. Saturday. Drive-in movies are always great. You get to eat and stay in your car and right, do whatever you want in your car. Right, they've got food and she's got uh, margarita mix. See and you later. Bye, folks.